tribe today is the 17th of november 2019 and i'm up bright and early it's now just around seven o'clock um i am going to nottingham yarn expo today really really excited um i am wearing risen and i'm wearing inspirited layered up really really ready to rock this outfit I'm a little bit upset that I've had a breakout and I never have breakouts and it's right around my mouth and I want to vlog today so all you're gonna do is this talking to you all day but anyway I'm gonna go and put some petrol in my car I also need to get some snacks ready put some petrol in my car then I'm gonna go and pick up my grandmother and then we're gonna go to Nottingham Yarn Expo I must remember the tickets for the tram oh let me grab them now Okay, I've got the tickets ready. They're here. Didn't want to forget them, so I've brought them with me. Um, I'm all packed to go. I've got a pair of socks going with me today. The ones that I'm working on. They were the Lacey Fern pattern. I've renamed them. But I'm not going to announce the name just yet. Can't have everything in one video. Um, what else am I going to tell you? I've got some tote bags with me so I can bring back my goodies. Because I have got a plan that I'd like to get some sock blockers, some 2mm needles, some 2.25mm needles and some sock wash. Um, I don't really need yarn. I'm not on a yarn ban. I don't really need it. So we'll see what's there. Um, but this is more for Nanny. She's really, really excited. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I want to show you my outfit, but I don't really have the space. I'm just going to show you some of the details and I'll get pictures later. I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. I think I can definitely rock double crochet like a pro. Um, yeah, I haven't done a lot of research, don't know what vendors are there. I don't know who else is going, I haven't really been on social media to see who's going. I've had a lot going on with my um, day job and I've been doing loads and loads of hours and so this has just been a treat at the end of that long journey, bridge, whatever's just happened to me. <laughs> um, so today is just going to be a surprise, I'm just going to go with the flow and I'm going to get going now because I want to get my grandma there nice and early. I think that's everything. It's just my face. <sighs> okay, drive. Got a dash. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and I'm 29 from the United Kingdom. This channel of mine is documenting my journey as a crochet designer, making moments and memories. If you're returning, hey 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 tribe, what's good, what's happening? Thank you so much for coming back here and spending this time with me. I hope you've had a really good few weeks since we last saw each other. Get yourself cosy, and if you're brand new, thank you so much for joining the tribe. It's so good to have you here. Um, today, I've got a really, really good vlog to show you. So if you are brand new, today I'm gonna do a sit down vlog and I have some footage because today I went to Nottingham Yarn Expo. I feel like this should be the dun dun dun. Had such a good day a really really good day um, I haven't vlogged uh, about a yarn show since yarn day or last year which was last October so it's been over a year <sighs> the yarn fairies have visited um, so let's start with I live in the East Midlands um, and so Nottingham Yarn Expo is on my doorstop so it would be really rude not to go also, my grandmother hasn't been to a yarn show and she's been knitting for 71 years. That's right, she started knitting when she was four years old. She's never been to a yarn show other than the Birmingham NEC, which was um, some sort of, I can't remember what she said, but she said there was a little bit of yarn there. Um, but nothing on the level of Nottingham Yarn Expo. So I asked if she wanted to go along. I said that I would drive, um, and that we'd go see what there was, and she said yes, 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 please. Um, and I made all the arrangements, and I rang her yesterday, Saturday, and said I'd be at yours for quarter to quarter to eight, um, which meant that I had to leave my house at seven, which meant I was up at six. Not that it takes me that long to get ready, just um, I like to do some knitting or crochet before I start my day. So I got to my nanny's. I did do a little bit of vlog footage this morning just over there before I went. I was showing you my outfit because I wore Inspirited, I'll show you the nice back bit, and I also wore um, Rism. So I'll put the footage in of me doing a little twirl in my outfit. Really, really enjoyed my outfit. Um, crochet layers. Layers for autumn is just the way to go, especially when you're going to be in and out of indoors. So you can just take layers off if you're too hot, put them back on when you get cold. Um, and it was really, really nice to just rep my own designs. I did feel a little bit self-conscious, um, but I got loads of amazing feedback, which I will come on to. So I don't feel as self-conscious now, which is really nice. Um, my afro looks decidedly windswept. It's been a bit of a blustery day. Um, so I did some footage this morning because I was really excited to be going. Um, and then we got there. There's been quite a bit of flooding in parts of the UK. And so I had to take a couple of detours, which added on, I think it added on about 40 minutes to my journey just to get to my grandma. Um, and then the journey to Nottingham from where she lives isn't too bad. Um, and we went to the park and ride, and we got on the tram, and it was all new for her. Um, but I know she was loving every moment of it. She also couldn't believe that my phone has a sat-nav, and that it told me what lanes to go in, and also that I still managed to get the wrong lane. Yeah. Um, and she was telling me about how back in the day when she wanted to go somewhere, you had to get your map out and plan where you're going and write yourself a little journey. Um, I don't think I could read directions and maybe get in the right lane and but anyway um so it was her first yarn show and she went wearing a handmade knitted jumper and I went wearing crochet so that was pretty cool um we got there then we made a quick stop um in the ladies for a comfort break which then meant it took us into a certain part of the show and Nanny thought that that was all there was for the show. So she spent a good 
a good hour going around five stores and I was like nanny there's a lot to see let's let's hurry up and she's like no no I'm here I'm gonna enjoy myself so I just thought you know what let her go at her own pace um it was quite nice to listen to her chatting to all the people and telling all the stories about how she was a weaver when she was younger and she used to weave in the factories in Scotland and make um, the woolen fabrics that are sold, some of which was on sale there actually. Um, and hearing people compliment on her cardigan that she'd made, that was really nice to hear. Um, and just wandering around and we just, we made this like deal, this pact that we were going to walk around the entire place before we made any purchases and then we would go back and she even brought a notebook to write down the things that we saw that we wanted so we could go back to those stores I mean I just take photos on my phone and then find them and go back but anyway um, so that was our plan we did really well and I think we hit like the fifth store and I saw these they are knit pro zings and they're DPNs I'm doing it I got some two mil double pointed needles. Um, most sock patterns call for a two, a 2.25 or a 2.5. I'm quite a slack knitter, so I decided to go for the two mils. Um, and I'm loving the pink. I did look at the 2.25s, but they were yellow. And although I like yellow, I really, really, really like this color. Um, so I got those and they were still at three pounds. So we picked those up, but then we did stick to the pact after that until we'd done a loop around the entire place and then the yarn fairies bestowed us with gifts. So, so much fun. Um, I was a bit apprehensive about taking her because I was worried she might not find anything she liked or um, she might get overly tired or, you know, anything like that. But could just see she really really enjoyed it and by the end of the day she just absolutely took it completely jiggered and I wouldn't be surprised if she won't she'll be in bed before long I think it's about half seven now maybe um she said that she won't be doing any knitting tonight she's gonna squish all of her all of her um yarn and get some sleep so Nottingham Yarn Expo is a good a good I was going to say conference it was at the conference centre. It's a really good yarn show to go to. Um, it's really spacious because you have the whole of the conference centre, um, which I think is attached or part of Nottingham Trent Uni. Um, and I love their facilities there. It's an amazing uni. Hopefully one day I'll get to go there. But anyway, let's not share all my secrets. Um, it's really spacious. I have been to... I think three or four yarn shows now and I really really favour this one in that everything is really spaced out, the stores have plenty of space, the majority of them had really ample lighting and you could um, you could see the displays, you could see what was on offer and you could speak to the store holder. It wasn't a mass frenzy. Now I did go on the Sunday and it was open on the Saturday so the Saturday could have been a lot busier probably was um, but I really really did rate that and I th that's a massive tick for me um, sometimes and there was a badge there that I should have picked up which says outside is too peopley sometimes I find when there's a lot of people around that I get a little bit overwhelmed and when there's like a mad crush or a really big crowd I'm sometimes I'm just not keen on that um, but this it got a little bit busy sort of around one or two and then it died off again or maybe it was a bit earlier than that but it was a couple of hours and then it, it died down again um which meant that you got time to speak to all of the um vendors and people that were around there it was really really nice um and you didn't have to i did find at edinburgh yarn festival is a little bit like elbows out wade your way through um, to get to the front and then if you found something you scooped it up well this is what everyone was doing they were like, scooping it up and buying it there and then because it wasn't likely to be there when you got back um, and a couple of the vendors that my nanny spoke to said that it had been steady and that they'd you know had had a steady flow of customers throughout the day rather than just a mob 
Um, so I really rate them for that. There was also like a little cafe, plenty of places to sit, um, and it was just really big and light and airy and warm. So warm. I don't like being cold. Um, yeah. You want to see what I got? I adore my purchases. I really do. Um, because it's my 30th next month, mm -hmm, my nanny gave me some spending money, which is so, so kind of her, because I've also asked her to knit me a traditional Aran jumper for my 30th, and then she decided to give me some spending money as well. Um, which means, not only did I have the little bit of spending money that I'd put by for myself, but I had her spending money. And so what I did, which I thought was quite reserved of me, is I spent the money that she gifted to me, but I've kept the money that I saved up. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm planning on doing with that money after I've shown you all of my goodies here, because I don't want to sound too gluttonous. Um, so I, I got the Knit Prosings, which was on my list. Oh, I didn't even tell you my list. I think whenever you go to a yarn show, you have to have a sort of a plan of attack. Like you've got a list of things that you want, things that, things that you need, need, things that you quite like. Um, no, I'd say need, like this is your, I must get these. Things that you want, like I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get 90% of my want list and things that you might like, which means you're gonna go over budget and get them. And I only had a need list, a need, that was it. And I really, really needed some new needles, some sock blockers, and some sock wash. Now, Nanny's gifted me some sock wash, so that gave me a big tick. I picked up this set of needles, which was part of a tick, and I looked for sock blockers, but I could only find wooden ones, and I really want some metal ones. Um, so I didn't pick any of those up, but I did look. Um, and then I didn't have anything on the wants list because I honestly, hand on heart, have the most amazing stash of yarn and I am really truly blessed with how much I've got to work with. Um, not only have I got an amazing stash of double knit acrylic, which I tend to crochet in, I've got some really, really nice um, hand dyed yarns from indie dyers from the previous yarn shows I've been to for socks and things I've been making. And with my knitting, I haven't really, I haven't, I haven't gotten to the stage where I want to make or design anything other than socks. Um, the only thing that I've sort of progressed onto, which is a massive step, is Aran knitting. Um, and so I have started to learn to Aran knit, but I haven't decided or wanted to make a jumper out of four ply or fingering if you're in America, and I haven't um, started to think about design patterns myself. So I don't really feel the need to have that in my stash at the moment, like yarn for those sorts of things in my stash. So my, my yarn stash is amazing. I've also got the um, machine knitting yarn as well, which um, I've been knitting with, I want to crochet with, and I also want to use my knitting machine with. So I am beyond blessed and really enjoying using what I have. Um, and so I didn't really have yarn in mind, but we all have um, indie yarn dyers that we've had our eye on or that we've seen, we've squished and we want. And so I got my squishes. Um, oh, I love that word. I got my squishes, my yarn squishy wish list. Um, so my next purchase, should I do it in order of what I purchased? Purchased? Yes. Sock yarn. <laughs> it's really quite funny because if you go back and watch the Edinburgh Yarn Festival um, vlogs, which was my first yarn festival and amazing place and if it's running next year without a doubt I am going um without a doubt we have to go Nicole we have to if you're watching this um I got all of the brights all of the brights and I was messaging um Nicole who I met at Edinburgh Yarn Festival last year and just said everything's too bright and I was wearing relatively bright 
but I know I've got so many bright minis upstairs and a few full skeins and haven't really used them yet. So I didn't want to get more. So I was looking for more neutrals. And no, like, who are you? What have you done with Heather? Um, I wanted more neutrals so that I could make socks for everyday outfits like that I could wear maybe in the office um, with smart tailored trousers and my brogues and it look okay. I mean, I think I could get away with a bright pink pair as well, but I just wanted some more muted, understated. Um, and I, I've sort of, I walked around the whole day and I was like, oh, I don't know what my style is. I do know what my style is. It's just that my style has like, um, it's multifaceted. So there's multiple sides. So I've got like my chill wear, my work wear, my going out wear, um, and whatever else I want to wear. Like you don't need a label. I wanted understated yarn. And I went by and saw Hannah from Hey J Yarn. And I said to her, there's not much dark yarn here. Like black yarn. And um, she was like, well, no. But then look what I found. I picked this up. It's basically black with these um, blush pinks. And almost like mauve. Um, and then it's got like a, a bit of white there. It's almost like a badger. And it's got it throughout. I love it. And it looked like, to me, a dried rose. And then I looked at the yarn name and it's called Black Rose. So it's by Dina's Home of Crafts. She is based in Birmingham. My nanny took an instant liking to her and brought... I think she brought a couple of her skeins. So I went by, I found this and another skein which was um spiced pumpkin latte but it was quite a dark colour it wasn't the bright orange and there was four of them and I thought maybe I'll get that and make a jumper I don't know what jumper because I haven't seen any patterns and as I said I'm not really at that stage the colour was lovely and it had yak in it as well and I said nanny look at this it's beautiful and then I saw this I was like I want this one um I just it honestly looked to me like a dried rose and when I saw that it was called black rose I had to get it. It's got the black with this tiny little bit of pink that I love. So it's basically my favourite colours. Um, and it is 100 grams and it's 20, 75% super uh, wash wool and 25% nylon. And I love that it's wool. I'm just sniffing it for the linen, 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 I can't, I can't word, lanolin, something like that, you know what I mean, that sheepy smell, um, and it's four ply, it says it's got 425 metres to 100 grams, for all of you that work in yards, I don't know, I'm sorry, um, and so I picked it up, and it was only 14 pounds for the skein, um, so that's going to make me a pair of socks I could get two pairs out of it especially maybe even a, maybe even more if I put um, so I need 50 grams to make a pair of socks to the normal length that I make if I put cuffs toes and heels in I could probably get two maybe maybe more maybe more out of there two pairs which is four socks I don't know if I'd get six, I'd have to do, I don't know, I could get a lot. Or, I was thinking, do I make like quite a high pair of socks out of the entire thing? Um, because I was wearing dungarees the other day with hand-knit socks, and I'd rolled the legs up a little bit, and I was just such, there was only like this much gap between my socks and uh, like this much skin on show, but it was so cold. So now I'm thinking I need like long socks that are like mid calf or just below my knee or knee length or just tights and this could be the start. Um, so I got that. That's destined to become a pair of socks. Whether I use a um, brought design or make my own, we will see. Sock yarn. Then We'd seen this yarn, both Nanny and I said we were going to go and get it, and it's this. And it's um, a great big hank of 
double knit yarn and it's tweedy. You know I love my tweedy, which I get from Nanny. And it's got these um, like denim blue and then it's got flecks of um, black and like a tweedy brown, mossy brown. And I, with the denim, this will go with a nice pair of jeans. But then with the brown, it will also go with, um, I was thinking maybe like corduroy, because I just, every girl needs corduroy in their wardrobe, right? And since I've been watching Ponder and Ply, and she loves the stuff, I started thinking that I need it in my wardrobe. So I got two of these from a gentleman there. I'm not sure what his store was called, but I could probably find it. And it was £10 for one, and it's 400 grams, so I got two. So I've got 800 grams of this. Um, Nanny needs 800 grams to make herself a cardigan, which makes me think I could probably get a cropped jumper and maybe a cardigan out of that, and maybe have a few scraps, um, leftovers. So that was only 20 pounds, steel. If it have had more colors, I would have snapped them up because as I said, Aran knitting is something that I am, I am, I am foraying into. Um, it's tricky, it's so, so tricky. But that's an entirely other vlog, episode, podcast. So, so tricky. I have frogged more often than when I've started. That doesn't make sense, does it? Actually, it's true because I haven't recasted on. Um, but I'm just using some um, economical, well, financially economical Audi yarn, which is acrylic and wool blend because I am ripping out, making mistakes and all sorts. And then I'll come on to the good stuff at a later date. This is 100% wool. Then, within the same little area, I'd seen a stall that I knew I had to, had to, had to get at least one skein from. And that is Bird Street. Bird Street UK or Mr B. And I was just loving the really um, autumnal colours. Oh, guys so so nice and I saw one and I squidged it and I said to Nanny I need to go and get some food and think about what I'm gonna get so we went to the cafe um, had a little bite to eat and went back out there and that's when the big the buying really began and then we went to Mr B and I was going to I was gonna withhold and not I wasn't gonna buy one because um, I thought I don't need more sock yarn and then Nanny bought three skeins herself, and I was like, meh, may as well join you. And so I got two skeins of my own. Now, when I'd been to this store, I saw the Spice Pumpkin Latte, and Nanny actually, we left the store having, she'd already bought a skein, and then Nanny was like, I think we got like two stores away, she's like, I have to go back, I have to go back. Frog marched me back and picked up the Spice Latte. Um, and I was like, oh, well, I still get to see it knit up. Um, and if it looks really nice in your socks, then I'll just order a sweater quantity once I'll work out what pattern I want to do. Um, and same with Mr. B. I picked up a colour and I really liked it. And then he was like, mine. <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy to let her have it. Um, so I, while she was looking and all oh, and all oh, and all, oh, it was just the same two skeins kept calling to me. There was three. I did put one back, might buy it online. There was two skeins really calling out to me and the first one was this one um, and it's, and I don't even know if I can do this colour justice, if I can describe it. Um, I think it's like an okra and it's got these very muted, beautiful autumnal colours. Oh, I just love it. And then I saw the name, and it's old number seven, and that's a Jack Daniels reference. And so I had to get it. So it's Mr. B, it's old number seven, and this is 75% um, superwash merino and 25% nylon. It's 100 grams, which is 425 meters. It's super soft. It's merino. Of course it's soft. Um, honestly and both I think must have been Mr B and Mrs Bird Street were so so lovely as well um, 
Nanny had a bit of a hot flush and was having a moment where she was there and they were just really attentive and nice. Um, Nanny loves the yarn. I love the yarn. This has been on my to buy list. Like I've wanted some of this yarn for the longest time. And I kept seeing this and I kept, I was just like, oh, do I need it? And I was like, yeah, I really need it. So I took sock blockers off my list and I added Mr. B yarn. Um, and it's old number seven. And then I was looking and I didn't need another skein, but I saw this one that really complements it. Look, ah. Oh. And it's got another Jack Daniels reference. It's called Sugar and Maple. And that is some of the ingredients in the whiskey. My dad is a huge Jack Daniels fan and I'm quite partial to a Jack Daniels. Um, so much so that I'm actually kind of craving one now, just the smell and the texture. Um, and this, this beauty, look at the colours in this. So it's got the much lighter tone there, um, but it's got this tiny little bit of pink. Oh, and then the darker brown, um, and you put these two together. And they were dyed apparently to go together. Of course they were Jack Daniel references, but I didn't know that until I picked them up. Um, and Mrs. Bird Street told me, and I just love it. And then the content, it is four ply. It is 80% merino and 20% bamboo. Oh, can you weave in? 100 grams, 400 meters. And I was thinking socks, separate socks. Maybe I could get um, a brown to do the cuffs and toes and heels, or maybe I'll make knee highs and fade these two colors into each other. I absolutely love them. Like they do scream like syrup, golden goodness. I'm gonna have to look up so many more descriptive words that when I show you these, I can really do them justice. Look at the speckles. I've got this um, tiny flecks of mustard. I've got the purple. Honestly, stunning. I think these might be my favorites, but they're all my favorites in their own way. Um, with these, oh. I love them and they're gonna look really nice with my skin colouring like if I wasn't red from spots and whatnot I think they're gonna look really good as a pair of socks which obviously that helps you see them right <laughs> now I have to pause you quickly to rescue my food that's in the oven and then I'll come back and show you more yarn confession maybe I should start a series on these confessions of a yarnaholic confessions of a HGDC tribe member my confessions. I get so distracted by yarn that I put food in the oven and I walk away from it and I hear the timer and I still don't get up and sort it out and then I always, always slightly overdo my food. Confessions of a knitter, a crocheter, a maker, a creator, a yarnaholic, a tribe member. Yarn does it to me. The yarn does it. So I've got my Naveen mug. Look at that. Can you just? Um, for anyone that doesn't know, Naveen is the prince from Princess and the Frog, which is my favorite, favorite um, princess movie. Closely followed by The Little Princess and Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast, so this and I just love it though I, I can't I can't drink out of that bit because of his lips they have to drink from the side and I've got um some I'm not sure what you call it in America but here in the UK you either call it cordial or squash um or juice and like Ribena if that's even in America um or Robinson's that's what I love it's Robinson's apple and black currant, or maybe it's the summer fruits. Mm. It's the summer fruits, and I put warm water in it because I don't like tea or coffee. Um, and I think like confession of a crocheter, knitter, maker, 
creator, Yarnaholic tribe member number two. I make warm drinks and I don't drink them until they've gone cold because I forget about them because I'm either recording or yarn. <laughs> I think I'm going to start a series on that. Let's put Naveen there where I can see him and I'll remember. So I got the Mr. B's. I love them. Mr. B, you are so amazingly inspired. I am going to, at some point, and I don't know when, cake these up. And when I do, I'm going to have a tumbler glass with some Jack Daniels in there and some, I'm just thinking, and maybe some fudge. And I'm gonna put on a film that makes me think of my dad, like Bad Boys. And maybe I'll invite him over to enjoy that Jack Daniels with me. And I'm gonna cast on an amazing pattern with this. And I can already, do you know, I'm already starting to see it in my head. And I also think if I sent these colours to my dad, he would really like them for a pair of socks himself. And then we could share, we could walk around and remember what it feels like to enjoy Jack Daniel fumes. Mmm. <laughs> Love them. I'm going to send them to my dad and see if he'd like a pair out of them. And then might maybe order some more of it. So we did that and then we went and sat down because it all of a sudden it did seem to get a bit warm in there. I think it was just there was more people in there and we'd been walking around um, and so we just needed to take some layers off. Mrs Bird Street said herself she needed to take off, um, she had like a long sleeve top under her, I think she had like overalls or a jumpsuit on. Um, it just got really warm all of a sudden so we sat down out of the way a little bit and had a, a look over what we'd got and sort of counted up how much we had left to spend. Um, and what we was going to spend that on. And I said to Nanny that I was thinking of getting an advent calendar and I really wanted some more needles and um, I wanted to have a look around to find the needles. Um, and I'd spotted an advent calendar and it was, um, I think it had 24 windows with five grams behind each one. And it was 25 pound and I was really, really tempted to get it. Um, and I, I, I do really, really want an advent calendar, but then in my head I was like, this is gonna have minis in it, and I have so many minis. Um, and they're probably gonna be bright, or they could be Christmas themed, you don't know. I don't really wanna add more yarn in that, I don't really know what it is. Uh, so I was all in and ahhing, and then Nanny, you know, the voice of reason. Though she wasn't at Mr. B, she was like, get more, get more kind of wish I'd listened because there was, and now I'm digressing, there was a lighter one and there was also another one called Jasper which was even darker so I could have got all four and had like a, a fade but I really like what I've got anyway. Um, Nanny said leave the advent calendar and spend £25 on yarn that you really want. You can always make up your own advent calendar and I had been thinking of doing that, I've, I've been thinking of um, Caking up a lot of the minis that are up, that are up there, hidden away. They're not hidden away. Then they're, they're neatly put away. Um, hidden away makes it sound like you shouldn't have it. You should have all the yarn you want, people. I give you permission. Have the yarn and enjoy it. Um, so I've got some yarn tucked away upstairs. I might cake it up and make my own advent calendar. Um, I've got mainly pinks, and then I'm thinking I could make. A pink pair and then I'm thinking what sort of pattern and then I was thinking I've already got so much that I want to make that I don't really need a yarn advent calendar so I might I might rather than have an advent calendar I might skein cake up some of those skeins and um, I'm thinking I've got 20 gram minis divide it into two 10 gram minis, um, make enough so that I could do a decent pair of socks and then put them in two separate bags and then throughout January pull them out so that I can make a pair of socks just as a way to get through January because there never seems to be anything good to look forward to um, and I do always struggle because my Christmas tree isn't up. I'm going to put mine up soon. Mm -hmm. That's probably another confession that I might do. I might, I might do it. I might just say, 
confession number three of a crocheter, a knitter, a maker, a creator, a yarnaholic, a tribe member. I put my tree up really, really early because I like to sit and look at the twinkly lights whilst I'm working on a yarny project. And I'm proud of that. Nothing you can say can make me stop doing that. November, mid-November, that's, that's fine. That's acceptable to put your tree up so you can sit and enjoy your lights whilst you knit on something or crochet on something. Mm -hmm. I can totally see that becoming a series. Oh my goodness. Um, so as I was saying, what was I saying before I confessed that I want to put my tree up early? I say? I said, um, I slightly burnt my food. I let my drinks go cold. I bought Mr. B yarn. Oh, January. January you need something good to look forward to, so maybe having a little bit of a, a project where I look forward to opening up yarn um, and seeing a, a project build up, that could be good. I'm not really sure what pattern I would do, maybe just a really plain one because of all the colours in my minis. Um, and it would be a good way to use up, and I could probably make a really decent knee high pair of socks, um, if not maybe taller, out of a lot of the minis that are up there. Um, it's an idea, I might do it. So. I put the advent calendar down and thought I'll wander around, see what else I stumble across. If nothing takes my fancy, I'll either come back and get the yarn calendar, advent calendar, or I'll just leave it and then I will um, come back. Well, I won't come back. I can order online because I've got a little bit of spondulies left over, a little bit of my budget, and I've got plans for that. Um, so we went and wandered around again. There was a downstairs bit and an upstairs bit. And um, we went back to Hannah's store, Hey J Yarn. Hannah and I went to uni, which is pretty cool. Um, at the same time, same uni. I think we met through housemates. She's a yarn dyer and knitter, and she's recently started weaving and spinning. Um, so yarn mad, like the rest of us. And I am an aspiring designer. And yarn, yarn, everything yarn. Um, I asked her to take a picture of me and Nanny. It's such a cute picture, I'll put it in. Um, and then I had a quick look over the stall again and I knew I wanted to buy a skein of yarn. Um, but I didn't get it on the first pass because we had made a pact, Nanny and I, we weren't going to spend. Um, and when I'd been looking, when I was speaking to Hannah, a few had really caught my eye. And I'd actually pointed one out because it was just so bright. Um, and then I picked up like a muted colour and I showed Nanny and I said, I do really like this one, but this one keeps bringing my, me back to it. So I got this. Whoa! That's blowing out massively. I don't know if... It is bright, but it's not. That almost makes it look radioactive. Um, so it's got this dark green and it goes into lime green with teal um, and sort of... I'm going to say apple blossom green um, and then out to a very pale, is it mint green? I'm going to swat up on colours and their descriptions. But I love it. It's also on Stellina so it's sparkly. So we've got a 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon and 5% sparkle. It's 100 grams and you get 400 metres. Love it. Love it. It's really, really bright. <laughs> it's making my eyes go, whoo. It's really, really bright. Um, and it's sort of the wild card in what I have brought because everything else is really muted. Um, but I knew that I would wear these colours, definitely. And I don't have anything on this scale in my stash that is going to be socks. So, 
I guess I'm all about the sucks again right now. Um, if you're a Patreon of mine, you will know that I'm working on two pairs of socks. I've just finished a pair of socks, but I'm going to save all of that for the um, wrap up that I do at the end of November. And then I've just bought four skeins of sock yarn. So there's a whole lot of sock going on over here. I think it's because the weather has turned so much and it's so, so cold. I'm really, really enjoying putting on my handmade socks again. Um, and now that I have, this is the only thing I'm gonna tell you, I have nailed how to do a proper heel. That's it. All you're gonna see now is socks. Um, yes, I had a really good time. I got some amazing stuff. A couple more things to show you. More needles. So I picked up from um, Dina's Home of Crafts. We went back because Nanny wanted to ask her a question about a sock pattern that she had brought. Um, I went back with Nanny and I spotted that she had needles um, and I had a quick look and I found the two sizes I wanted. So I've got the two mils and the 2.25 mils. Um, I want to make socks on different sizes just to see what size I find comfiest to wear. Um, I love, love, love that they're pink. So I'm kind of hoping that that's the size I need to use. Um, yes. So that's everything that I brought from the yarn show. We did leave the yarn show and we saw a huge pound land, so we nipped in there and I got every single remaining ball of this that they have because if you are a regular, you will know that I'm making a granny square curtain out of that. And if you're a Patreon, you will know how close I am to finishing that. And um, Patreons will be told next week in my post what I'm planning on doing with all of that yarn. Um, so if you want to find out about that, then go and sign up on my Patreon. Patreon is a monthly um, subscription platform. So my Patreons pay, I think it's $3, which equates about, um, after fees and conversion, I see about £2.40 a month. Um, and what I do is I post weekly posts on there. So I post every Saturday and I post an update on my um, projects. So finished objects, if there are any, which is amazing, um, whips. Um, projects that I'm planning or that I'm working on, um, all of the design projects that I've got going on in the background um, and then also I like to put in there quotes, um, I call them my reminders, just um, reminders to you and for me to look back on, I love reading back on the posts, um, things that I'm listening to, working on, my inspiration, anything related to HGDC is on there and that's a weekly post and because now my episodes or vlogs, they're only going to come out um, twice a month. So mid-month I'm going to be doing a um, vlog of what I've been up to. Um, so usually it's sort of um, me behind the camera showing you what I've been working on and then I'm then going to do an overview, a wrap up at the end of the month um, telling you what I've finished, what I've worked on, what I've started and my plans for the next month. So. If you want more Yarny content, if you want to see more behind the scenes of the tribe, become a tribe member on my Patreon. Um, I really, really enjoy posting there and we've got a great community building. It's excellent. Also, if you are a Patreon of mine, you get the free codes to download whatever pattern I have released on Ravelry. And I have released Adventure. Mm-hmm. I've done it, I've released it, it's out there. It's actually on Ravelry right now. I've priced it at £2.40. So if you want to go and get that, for the remainder of November, if you sign up as a Patreon, you will be able to take the free code and download it on Ravelry and put it in your Ravelry library. Um, or if you don't want to sign up to Patreon, you can pay, um, it's £2.40 and you can get the adventure pattern. Um, download it to your Ravelry library. Eventually I am going to put them on Etsy and Lovecrafts as well, but for now, Ravelry. Um, Adventure is my granny square cow, convertible cow. 
um, and I'll put some footage in to show you what that looks like as well. Um, I know a few of the tribe members have actually started making adventure which is amazing um, I can't wait to see all the different colours that you use um, I'm also thinking of making myself another one I actually am so if you want to make your own then go over to Ravelry or sign up to Patreon and get the free code so that you can get all the goodness that's on Patreon as well as adventure um, I'm not going to go into much more detail on what's coming up on Patreon other than this next little bit. <laughs> um, as I said, and I'll wrap this up because this is going to be a super long episode. Um, So much good stuff to show you that this is going to be a real bumper length episode. I hope you're enjoying it um, and that you've got a project with you and you're making good progress. Um, I did actually take one project with me to Nottingham Yarn Expo and I didn't put a single stitch onto it. But I had it with me anyway. And it was a pair of socks that I've started. Um, and again, if you are a Patreon, you will know... I have restarted my lacy fern pattern. That's what it was called. I might rename it. I do have a name in mind. I'm thinking of calling it. And I've restarted them in the most amazing yarn. Amazing. Please go check out Patreon just to see the yarn. It's got sparkles in it. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to wear my own designs. I don't really wear much crochet day to day for a few reasons one because I don't have that many of um, crochet garments and the other one just because sometimes I do feel a bit self-conscious wearing them or um, it's not been the right season so yeah because I don't have many and crochet garments aren't um, there aren't a lot of them out there there's a lot more knitwear and so I decided I was gonna wear and I went for double I layered them up so I wore this one, which is my risen pattern, and then I wore this one, which is inspirited, and it's got all the detailing in the back. And the amount of amazing, wonderful people that came up to me and said, I love what you're wearing. I love it. Um, and they loved that it was quite plain in the front, and then all of the businesses in the back. And they loved the way that the colours in this one, and this detailing. And I just want to thank every single one of you that made the time and the effort even to come out of your way to say to me that you love what I'm wearing because I feel really emboldened by that and there was a lady there and her name oh no don't say I've forgotten her name I know she made the Scarrington jumper and I want to make it so I'll look up her name but she called me over and she said I love what you're wearing and she was actually um she was really, really lovely and really empowering and just said, set aside a little bit of time each day just to work on your design to get them out there. I had also spoken to Abby of, um, I think she was Abby Rose Crochets, but I think she might be Abby Designs now. Um, she said she really, really, really wants enamoured and I said to her that I would sit down and get it done. Um, enamoured is quite similar and spirited. And just hearing all of these amazing, amazing feedback. And that's what I do it for. I do it because I love to wear what I've made. I love to be surrounded with crochet. And I'd love to see more people wearing crochet. So I am going to, well, it's not even I'm going to. I'm getting this ready to be tested. I'm getting this ready to be tested. I'm getting them all ready and we're doing this tribe we're doing this we are getting crochet out there you're all going to be rocking this wearing this we're doing this um so i'm not going to put a call out for testers right now but there will be one eventually um hopefully very very soon because i've already got this written up yep i just need to grade it um you know arguably the hardest part i can do it by the time i've done the six patterns i've got i'll be a pro so if you want more updates on these, I suggest you sign up to Patreon because there are 
weekly updates um, and also you get to see the behind the scenes on my new designs that I'm working on. I love them all. I love every single Granny Square project. I just love it all. Look at it. How can you not love it? Um, so thank you so much to all the wonderful, wonderful comments. You gave me a little bit of my own fierce spirit back. Um, so thank you so, so much. Even even Mrs. Bird Street UK was like, I love your wearing. You need to get that out there. Wow. Um, I had such a wonderful time. I am truly, truly grateful that I got to go and make amazing memories with my grandmother that I got to see all of the wonderful people that were there and speak to so many lovely, gifted, talented and kind people that I got to wear my own designs two of my own designs to a yarn show and that I got to come home with such amazing squish amazing, amazing squish and you know what else I'm really grateful for? I came home to my beautiful home I've got a whole day off tomorrow and I already know that I'm going to put aside an hour to work on this and I already know that I'm going to sit and binge watch Little House on the Prairie because I'm loving that right now and work on my designs and I honestly truly feel very heart happy right now I also get to see the boyfs the boyfs? that makes it sound like I've got more than one I've only got one I get to see the wonderful boy for tomorrow. So, right now. Oh, and also I had a big win in my um, career over the weekend as well. Like, I've reached a milestone. So, I just feel very, very happy. And I just give all the thanks to God. As if I just dropped that. I give all the thanks to God. And I'm so grateful and so blessed. And just cherish all these moments. It's all about making moments and memories and on that note tribe i'm off and i will see you again soon thank you so so much for watching and whatever the next few weeks bring to you um between my videos i hope you find some wonderful time to make your own moments and memories Look